Hey folks, Serpent Trading here, and we're back with Forex Bowl, and uh, what a fantastic week we've had with them. Up 25.17%, and uh, we're, we're really flying now. Um, if you do watch my videos, you might remember back in September sometime, and I believe it was around this sort of area here. Uh, no, that's August, 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 September, sometime. I think it was this one. I think it was when we, we spiked back up here and then we had a pull back afterwards, literally after I made the video. And I did say the, about a trade idea of uh, trading the breakout of this uh, flag. Uh, it doesn't look like a flag on the daily chart, but if we go out to the weekly, then that's uh, looking far more flag like. Draw that a bit straighter. There's your your flag. So that's uh, really targeting up at this sort of 320 level, the previous highs. And that uh, would have been a nice trade if you got in on uh, the Tuesday, was it? We broke out. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. So if you got in on the Tuesday, you would have already made a fair bit of profit and uh, sort of halfway to your target already. Um, I think all this move has actually been a consequence of um, the rising oil, um, oil, rising iron ore prices, as we can see, it's really been spiking up. Um, still some room to run before we hit any sort of major levels of resistance, and uh, that's obviously driven by the, the Chinese economy, which uh, apparently is immune to COVID-19, because they cracked down so heavy on it at the beginning. It's also got um, so other news behind it would be uh, the fact that um, the whole tax evasion scandal for the, the I can't remember his name, the Ukrainian fellow, uh, the biggest uh, owner of uh, for Expo. I think he is the owner of Expo. He owns something like 51% uh, of the shares or something. I can't actually remember his name. Konstantin Zahivako. Am I saying that correctly? Well, anyway, um, the Kiev. Uh, court has basically um, lifted the sale restrictions uh, and um, that seemed to have uh, pushed the price up. So really this is looking at a, a re-rate uh, scenario and uh, um, although I suspect we will get some resistance at uh, 320 level previous highs which were back here in 2017 um, it could well be it could well be the fact that we may rewrite re-rate uh, higher than this level and uh, I see uh, the price going anywhere between 320 to uh, four uh, pounds a share so this area here is where I um, I mean are planning to uh, take some profit up to then I'm quite happy to hold the share they pay a brilliant dividend um, I still haven't I worked out how to reclaim uh, my dividend tax or withholding tax that Swiss authorities take off me. Um, but even without that, it's been something like around the 8% mark. And uh, if you are a, a tax advisor in any way, uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you can help me reclaim my tax, I'll be very happy to hear from you and let you uh, do that for me. Um, otherwise, uh, just want to have a quick look at this chart. Uh, this one is a uh, stock charts chart, and I always check this one out. I find it quite interesting because the price levels are all different, and that's because uh, ex dividend dates it re rates all the past prices. So you can see the high on this chart is actually at uh, the four, um, sorry, 240 level, 240, 246 level, and you can see the price. Low down here was uh, 84 pence, whereas actually the low on that day, 16th of March, was actually 94.8p. So uh, TradingView doesn't update uh, any of the prices to um, uh, the ex-dividend price, and uh, Stockpedia does. Just an interesting little thing, and something that you know may support the price uh, since we're at 260 now. So you may find some sort of support around the low. Uh, low uh, 240s so which is just uh, I do actually have a price level around there 
so we may find some support around here if we do back off this week so hope you got something from that video um, if you did just smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and uh, definitely comment below especially if you uh, have uh, lots of tax uh, knowledge on that withholding tax so I'll catch you in the next video